Hello everybody. Feeling a lot better after yesterday. Uh, the cold is getting better. The chest is clearing up. And today we're going to have a look at how we built a lighthouse for the uh, wonderful crab and lobster festival that we have in our beautiful region. It's part of a theme that goes towards a great auction uh, in August that raises money for charity. People purchase the lighthouses uh, in plain format and then create their own theme on it. Uh, there are no limits and there have been some really wonderful creations. But this is our effort for the Constantia Cottage Restaurant. Most of them have been bright colours, are very jolly, but I've opted for a Game of Thrones theme, dark and mysterious, and we called it the Game of Stones. Glorious day today in Chroma, out with the family. That's Panos, my son, Angie and Elsie. Where are we going, guys? What have we opted for? So much option here in Chroma. Rocket House. Rocket House. That's near the uh, Chroma Lifeboat Museum. Is the lift working? Of course it's working. Ah, uh, here we go. Modern technology. This is where we want to go here. Ah, oh, we're here. We have to go upstairs anyway. You got it wrong. <laughs> there are only three levels in this building, and we got it wrong. I'm going to have mackerel and a poached egg, but while you guys are making up your mind, I'm going to go and enjoy the view from this balcony. It's amazing. Don't fall off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's yours like, Angela? What are you having, Panos? Salt. Big breakfast. Big breakfast, wow, man. <laughs> that was awesome. Go home, man. Yeah, it's always good to see you. Yeah, I had the mackerel. <laughs> I think it would be easy if we take the stairs. It's been a busy morning for you. It has actually. Yeah. I tell you what, you could have a look at my new surfboard. Look, like, you'll like this. One I, I painted. Yeah, Do you remember yeah. me doing that? But, but oh, yeah, that is the most painted. psychedelic surfboard I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. That is amazing. I don't know. Exactly. Where is it? We need some varnish, I think. That's, yeah. that's flint, so it has to be. Um, it has to be a special kind of varnish. I don't want to make it too dark. <laughs> Outdoor varnish, but just enough to bring the uh, beauty of the flint up, and it's matte. We don't want a too shiny effect. Oh, for the wood, I think I've found just the thing. Oh, look at this lot. That, that's the texture we want. Yes, this is the one. Give it a nice dark, eerie effect. Thank you so much for being so helpful. That stuff is going to go over the, uh, the flint work. Yeah, just to bring up the all the little lines in the flint. A massive thank you to my adorable daughter Elsie and her husband John for painstakingly sticking all the flint onto the lighthouse. I did film that, but the SD card went all corrupt and I lost all the footage. I am so sorry. But this is a special mention uh, to John and Elsie for all the marvellous flint work they did on the lighthouse. From there on, I took over to decorate it, to add the artistic touch to it. So, let's take it from there. Here we are, uh, in the garden, bright and early in the morning. It's around about 7.30am uh, uh, and we've uh, 
master lighthouse. We're nearly there. What we're going to do is uh, spray uh, the middle bits with uh, metallic paint and give uh, the flints uh, a matte varnish. See what it turns out like. Today, the uh, Twilling Association organised uh, strawberries and cream afternoon. And here's Mike to tell us all about it. Lovely, we had music playing, we had, we had, it wasn't just strawberries and cream, it was high tea, there was sandwiches, there, there was cakes, there was buns, there was scones and, and Cornish, proper Cornish cream, and then finished off with strawberries and cream. And it was, it was very, very tasty. All to raise funds for our twin association so that we can keep the relationship strong with our two twin towns, Nidda in Germany and Cray in, in France, who, who hopefully will be coming to visit us this time next year. That's wonderful, Mike. It's always lovely to see our local officer, Barry, and of course our deputy mayor. <laughs> That's Richard. Always lovely to see you. And to you. And to you. Really what lovely to see you. It's a sunny day in Cromer. Isn't it just? Uh, Barry, it's always great to see you. Yeah, see you well. yeah. I hope all is well in town. Yes, yes. This man is awesome. <laughs> I'm delighted to say the lighthouse looks absolutely amazing. All that hard work was worth it. And here it is now in all its glory.